Markets are hovering near the flat line this morning. Take a look. Investors are awaiting a key inflation report. That is the August Consumer Price Index. It's due out at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. Hennessy Funds Chief Investment Officer and Portfolio Manager Ryan Kelly joins me now. Also joining the conversation all morning long is Forbes, Forbes Media Chairman, former Republican presidential candidate Steve Forbes, and Payne Capital Management President and host of Payne Points of Wealth podcast, Ryan Payne. Great to see everybody this morning. Thanks very much for being here. Mm -hmm. Kicking things off with you, Ryan Kelly. Let's talk about markets. Is this sort of uh, cautiousness this morning in anticipation of the CPI number? What are your expect expectations for the inflation report today? Yes, I think uh, absolutely there's a whole lot going into this number today. I think if we see a, a higher number than expected, we'll see the markets continue to move into more of a risk-off type trade. We'll probably see, um, you know, certain sectors that have really underperformed this year that will do better, uh, sectors like uh, the staples as well as utilities. Uh, also, I think with uh, less, t with tighter monetary policy, eventually we'll also see uh, interest rates rising. And, you know, financials have done very well this year, and you could see a bit there as well. So what do you want to do then? I mean, do you think that inflation is uh, going to be uh, longer lasting than some Fed officials are saying? We continue to see this story get worse. Do you want to invest based on those companies that have pricing power? Or how are you allocating capital with this inflation threat? Sure. Well, I really think that, uh, you know, one sector that we continue to just focus on, um, and there's, there's two parts to this inflation. Uh, it's, it's hitting us all over the place. Uh, of course, there's potential uh, uh, tax hikes that you mentioned as well. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, utilities continue to look uh, interesting to us. They're the ones who have really um, done poorly this year. They're the types of companies that um, <clears throat> are more defensive, that, that people move into when there's higher inflation. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, energy is something that we continue to need no matter what. And these utilities are very resilient. Uh, and, you know, when it comes to tax uh, hikes that we may see here as well, um, with this infrastructure bill, um, <clears throat> that's actually not going to affect the utilities very much at all. When taxes were cut a couple years ago, it was completely passed on to uh, the customers. I think this time as well, uh, that's going to continue to work for them uh, and they, and they, on the flip side, and they won't see a real hit to the bottom line. Uh, and in, in addition, that infrastructure bill has hundreds of billions of dollars in it that could go towards uh, the electrical grid, uh, towards modernization, towards expansion. And as we see this continue to play out, uh, we think there's a, quite a long ways for uh, utilities, which normally are a pretty slow growing sector, to continue to do well and have sort of outperformance when it comes to their earnings per share growth rate. Let me, let me get your take on the policy coming, Ryan. House Democrats proposing to raise taxes pretty much across the board with the corporate tax rate going up to 26.5%. Goldman Sachs is saying that raising that corporate tax rate to 20, 25% would knock 5% off the S&P 500 earnings. What are your thoughts in terms of the impact of the tax increases to come? Well, it's certainly uh, substantial. I mean, in the last, uh, you know, when we look at last year versus, versus this year, earnings per share growth for the S&P 500 is uh, obviously huge because last year was such a a poor year. But if you look into next year, we're looking at about a 10 percent growth rate in, in EPS for uh, the overall market for the S&P. Uh, hitting that by 5 percent is about half. Uh, that would certainly uh, slow down the earnings growth. And one of the things that we believe has been really pushing the stock market higher is the growth rate of earnings per share. If we look back at 2019 and we look forward till the end of next year, uh, there's been volatility there, of course. But on a year-over-year -year basis, uh, on average, uh, earnings per share growth has been up about 13 percent per year during that time. So uh, this slows that down. Um, that probably means, again, that uh, investors become more cautious, probably causes some volatility. Um, and I'm not sure that, uh, you know, this is completely baked in yet. It's still unknown uh, how much the tax rates will be and if they will continue to push them through as they are. Yeah, we'll see if this plan goes through. Of course, uh, we are waiting to see the markup from the House Ways and Means Committee uh, this week, as well as a vote in a couple of weeks. Let me bring Steve Forbes in here. Go ahead, Steve. Uh, yeah, I'm wondering uh, the, what, what you think of the frothiness of the market. You know, we've had the meme stocks and everything else. 
And with these tax increases, if they do go through, why hasn't the market really taken that into account now? The Democrats seem very serious about pushing those things through. Well, I think that there's always that uh, that ex the 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 curiosity as to <laughs> what gets announced and what finally gets pushed through. Um, but again, I, I think you know that the the market is in a very good place. Um, but this would be another uh, probably cause some volatility. You know, we've had just an a continued upswing in the market despite the last week and a half. I think that probably we would see, um, you know, some sort of a drawdown or correction somewhere in the five to ten percent. But those are normal. If you look back for the last, you know, since the financial crisis, there have been 24 different drawdowns and corrections, and we continue to move out of those uh, eventually and continue to meet uh, to make new highs in the market. And I think that probably still is is the case in this in this point. All right, we'll leave it there. Ryan Kelly, it's great to have you this morning. Thanks so much. Thank you very much.